What is going on everyone? My name is Boyt and I'm back with some more Age of Mythology, the Titans action. Spawning in the bottom of this map is someone I've never seen before, 10MG underscore XJ, and he is playing as Loki. In the top side of the map, it's either a Smurf or it's actually Nigam. who knows? His name is Keen Nigam. he's in the red color and he's playing as Zeus. This is a recorded game request, so for some reason we want to be watching this one and learning what we can learn from it and seeing what we can see. So, map is Frozen Wastes. This is Nigam playing as Zeus. If you don't know who Nigam is, he is arguably uh, one of the most underrated experts to have ever played Age of Empires, or sorry, Age of Titans. Uh, he is 100% in the class of Magyar in terms of his... Uh, in terms of his expert status or whatever you want to call it and it looks like he's going for a very very Frosty modern here. build order here at the Frosty start of the game here. so he's going for a very very aggressive uh, build order here to start the game off here and we'll see how that's all going to go now the other guy don't know who he is but uh, if I take a quick look he was rated 1800 so he's definitely a strong player if you can get 1800 with uh, Loki definitely means you've got some uh, some yeah. talent because it means you have to get through all those pesky raw players sitting in that 1700 range definitely a tough matchup there but maybe he's just picked his way through <laughs> just counter the whole way. who knows i don't know he's obviously a good good strong player on the map frozen wastes obviously you're going to have those difficult to secure gold mines on the sides of the map so a uh for both players but for a for a zeus player in these sorts of situations your aim is mostly going to be uh aimed at either getting a gold star at the start or firstly starting with a food star a hunt star and then secondly going for that gold star so we do see Villagers actually getting pulled off the gold off the gold mine here. This is incredibly uh, interesting. I don't think that's 100% necessary. He's got the gold to get himself his temple up, and he's going to be uh, going for that temple, attempting to advance to the second age here. Uh, the temple's yeah, yeah. Not, still not up though. He actually used a food villager to grab that grab that uh, house there. So everything is just a little bit funky, but he is going for a very very fast advance time. There's the uh, the temple now. I imagine he's going to be sending villagers over onto wood oh, now if he wants to be doing anything going forward here. But it it does look like an incredibly fast advance nonetheless. So we'll see how it's all going to go. Yeah, yeah. More villagers over onto food here. Uh, so this build, it's reminding me of. Um, of a build that old boys Wiz did on me uh, once upon a time where he actually went for a ridiculously fast advance time, uh, like a 3.30 with hunting dogs, which apparently is possible. Uh, but this build here is going to be netting uh, the Zeus player a second Minotaur really, really early, I would assume, as the villagers heading back over onto the gold here. And he does get roughly a 4.02 is the aim, but it's slightly delayed uh, as... 10 mg xj over here he's got his temple very defensive his house is going down dwarves coming up going to be a slightly later advanced time wanting to have four villages on gold four villages on wood and seven villages on food is normally the advanced time here for loki players as he's going to finish off that final caribou here getting his hersa out and he's going to be in for a very very tough Let's early game back. here coming up he's actually got five villages on wood which is a little bit different so maybe he's going to be going for early throwing axemen here so i do think that uh loki especially loki but the norse players uh, as i've recently learned should technically be able to defend against this kind of early game pressure and hold their secondary hunt uh for the most part if they can micro relatively well or Something like that. Anyways, we'll see what Negum's going to be doing over here. He's got himself six villages on wood. He's got himself the villages forward Cross onto these walrus over here. He's going to be dropping his archery range and military academy. And it looks like he's delaying his Odysseus. So just a little bit of a funky early game here. I think maybe because of the, the kind of 150 food spawn thing here, he felt like he had to do that. I'm not sure it's 100% necessary. Anyways... He's getting both of his buildings up. Maybe going to get that Odysseus a little bit later on. Two villagers coming out, going straight over to the gold. Makes perfect sense over here. Uh, and here, the units are starting to come as the uh, the gatherers over here doing their doing their thing. The minute talking to show up, and let's see what does our uh, Loki player have out at this point. He's got himself a troll here to defend this. His Hersa searching around the map already, looking for stuff to. To kill, killing off those elks, trying to get himself the fastest possible 
Hall of Fanes he can get. But the uh, the Jason is in. That's going to be picking off that troll immediately here. Uh, nice play here from Nigam to take that one out as the villagers are going to be leaving that location and potentially moving straight over here onto these other elk. But while this is all going on, it means that we're going to have a 0% production here for 10MGXJ as now we see the units coming into... Uh, into our Loki player's base, and our Loki player here, he's looking for some harass onto this location. At this point, Nigam not paying attention here. He's going to be actually losing some villagers, which is definitely not something you want to be happening when you're going for these incredibly early attacks here. As now the villager retreating back, going to be jumping into that tower. Most likely is the Hursa going to be left alone here. Villagers still, uh, well, villagers still managing to grab this uh, walrus over here, and you can see that things start getting very, very messy if you just do a little bit of a light love tap onto the resources when you rush this hard. So it's a very smart play here from XJ here, making things very difficult for Nigam coming, uh, moving forward here in this game. There's another house going to be coming up. You see this uh, long house over here wanting to build more Hursa as the watchtowers are coming down. We do see some. Uh, spicy wall segment abuse here now this is something that's not really allowed in tournaments but uh, on the rank ladder you can do whatever you like uh and i mean if you feel like you want to cheese a win here by getting w extra wall segments you can cheese a win by getting extra wall segments as we do see that bolt coming down nice market there though by 10 mg there to save that ursa in the back as the first wall segment going to be coming down now if this is me and i see this type of thing here as the uh, as the zeus player the best bet here from the Zeus player's perspective is to actually back off, allow the Loki player a little bit of breathing space to defend your hunt and be waiting for uh, a, uh, a full population gold starve on that second gold mine because you know that gold mine is going to be expiring around about nine minutes. But Nigam is going full scent here, trying to push this uh, Loki player back and the Loki player is managing to hold those, uh, those Hursa incredibly well here. Keeping those alive very, very nicely as that watchtower is going to be very tough to, to break through. And now with Nigam with no restoration, he's got no real good answer to a surround coming forward. But right now, a little bit housed, having to work that out going forward. Nigam here putting his houses down nicely. No real attempt at defending these villages here. One thing I much prefer is to utilize the houses as a defensive part on this on this sort of map or even just in this sort of matchup, especially around your sentry towers and getting watchtowers to make sure that your opponent can't freely raid your uh, your your stuff. Not only that, in this sort of period of time, you can see the resources starting to float. This is a... Uh, Time to start jumping onto this onto this location over here. Did you get hus husbandry? No husbandry here, so definitely berry bushes there would be a way to help you out as the watchtower does end up getting taken down. But look, here's the thing. This watchtower wasn't even that important. You can swing around this location and Nigam actually sees that and be starting to raid this gold mine from this location outside of range of the, the towers here as the hoplites trying to push through the walls are up and, and uh, Nigam is not realizing there is another path to this gold mine as he's trying to continue to put pressure on to this location here, breaking down that wall over here. The Toxoid is getting some good damage done. We do see over on this location, the Hursa getting chased back by a handful of units on that location there. As now the Toxoid is trying to push in onto the gold mine. The Dwarves getting pulled off of that gold mine. The Towers and Townsend is getting lots of free DPS onto those units, picking off some Toxoides and everything else here. Nice play by... Uh, XJ to, to keep himself alive in this game, but he's got now 500 gold in the bank. Needs to get some uh, an armory up now if he wants to go to the next age, and he is wanting to go to the next age here, ladies and gentlemen. I'm going to be continuing to raid with these Hursa, looking for some villager kills, looking for some pressure over here. The armory is not up just yet, but he's just about to have the resources to advance as his villagers now move over onto this barrier bush. This is an incredibly risky play. If you're playing this as the Zeus perspective, get your armory down, stay in the classical age, and get yourself upgrades, armory upgrades, as well as line upgrades here. You can see Nickham's going to be starting to head closer and closer towards full population here as the uh, as the Hursa coming around onto this location here, hitting those villages yet again, causing some problems here. Is Nigam going to be pulling back his hoplites here to defend the villages pulling in? We do see Nigam searching around. He's got himself units on this location, this location over here. We see the trolls coming through. Plenty of units now in for MG to hold this as Nigam not paying attention. That is too many losses there for Nigam as he has to pull back here away from this location, dropping down to 86 population 
Uh, 10 MG now. He's got himself some gold. He's getting himself some Hursa out fairly soon. He's going to be able to get himself Battle Ball here. Things are going to be changing very, very quickly in this game as we do see Medium Hop Flights has come through for Nigam. He's still sitting only on two military buildings here as the villagers getting taken out on this position. The Toxod is trying to take them down as fast as they possibly can over here. Hop Lights able to take down these Hursa. One Hop Light for one Hursa is actually a good trade there for Nigam here. But all those units are falling as Nigam has to pull all the way back. And the second archery range going to be coming down now for Nigam as he's uh, trying to grab this hunt in the middle of the map. Now it's time for XJ here. MG XJ. He can now start thinking about moving his villages over onto this hunt. Alternatively, he can just throw down a market and go full Loki here. All dwarves onto the gold and start buying food in these situations. But you can definitely start thinking, well, it's time to, to grab some hunt here at this point. But he's picked off all that hunt on this location over here. Nigam now dropping a military academy on this spot here. 95 of 115 uh, population here for Nigam. As he's going to be moving forward, looking for something to take out. Longhouse coming down over here. We do see the uh, the trolls coming up on this location here. Nigam pushing through. He does see those units. They're a little bit scared to take the fight here, but he needs to put pressure on because the flaming weapons is going to be coming and that gold mine is going to be expiring. And if the Loki gets a little bit more of an advantage in this game, it's going to be lights out for the Zeus moving forward here. Process check. As the uh, Toxodes trying to move forward. As he moves forward here, he's pulling back with the speed walking to get out of this location nice and quick. Well played there to make that work. Good turnaround there, trying to pick off those Hursa, but the Hursa too quick to dodge uh, that turnaround there. Nice play by uh, MG as he's trying to slowly but surely get up to that full population. He's making himself more Hursa out in this location. He's making himself some Thrawn Axemen out on this location ever so slowly over on this gold mine now. As we'll see what Nigam's plan is here. Starting to throw down some farms here. He does have an armory up. Does he have any armory like upgrades? That was a big question. No. No armory upgrades here. So this flaming weapons is going to be incredibly tough like here. But I love this raid now coming in for Nigam. Six hoplites in onto this position. Toxode is pushing forward. Getting a little bit of damage done here. Hoplites pulling back. Villagers need to pull back as well. As Nigam doesn't have everything in onto this location. The Hurso trying to snipe, uh, to sneak around onto the back here. But Nigam is not allowing this just yet. Flaming weapons getting clicked here. As Nigam is going to be retreating all the way back into his base. As the hoplite is going to start taking a little bit of damage onto this location Two dwarves have been picked off here as Nigam is continuing to push forward. This is why I was saying maybe get your armory upgrades here. Maybe get some more military buildings in your base instead of trying to get to the Heroic Age here. It's going to be really, really tough to make that happen as we do see those military academies coming down, archery range coming down, the Hursa now moving over onto this location to try and take down the villages. Nigam's got himself 400 gold remaining here as this is going to be a really, really nice choke point for him to sit in as the Hoplites over here are taking down these Hursa, but the Hursa are very, very strong. If he gets a myth unit spawn here, it's going to be absolutely huge, but looks like no myth unit spawn just yet villagers over here getting chased back as the army here uh, for Nigam sitting nice and uh, nice and quietly in this space, nice and defensively as the heroes coming through trying to pick off those trolls and everything else allowing those Toxodes to get some good damage done here a very very nice defense thus far by Nigam but MG's got what he wants. He's got himself the 70 favor in the bank. He just needs gold at this point. We'll see if Nigam's going to be able to send some units around. We do see the villagers searching for a gold mine over here, but there is no gold mine on the bottom side of the map here. He's going to be going for this one over on this location over here as the army now starting to push forward here. Nigam needs a little bit of help here. Maybe some Minotaurs actually in this position against the Loki. Might seem funny to say, but it might actually be the way to go to give himself a little bit more of an attempt at defending against those battle balls and those... Uh, uh, those myth unit spawns and things like that uh, as X, uh, MG XJ going very very wild around the map searching for something to take out picking off these military buildings doesn't actually do that much damage to Nigam at this point in the game because he's got all the military bu buildings now built in his base but the problem is that this here was 400 wood that really needed to be spent in uh, in farms he does still have 600 food left ish in berry bushes though so we'll see how that's going to go as the army now pushing through for Negan going to start engaging in the middle of the map here as the uh, Toxodes over here they need to get into this fight as he's trying to market to the best of his ability to, to maintain his food income over here more villagers coming through I don't think he needs food look at all the food in his bank he needs gold at this point as uh, as 
uh, the Loki player here, MG, grabbing himself a second town center, about to start getting set up here. Very low on the resources, spending his resources very nicely. Good micro here from both players, actually. Return fire from Nigam, getting a little bit of extra damage as the retreat coming through here. As Nigam looks like he has kind of stabilized here. The problem is, it's going to be a two town center Loki in the Heroic Age against a one town center Zeus in the classical age as the army now pushing through we see the army pushing around here you need to get the hoplites onto those herser herser are effectively raiding cavalry in a big big way you can also see he's got 27 percent pierce armor on those herser as well you need to have that happening the hoplites attacking that frost giant is going to be very very poor here for Nigam moving forward here as it looks to be the Loki player moving forward in this game having a really really nice time we see the units going to be retreating away from both sides over here the mountain giant can be taking down the military academy here and now the next port of call is going to be to take out this location we still don't see that temple with any villagers getting favor so spending that food on uh minotaurs is not going to be an option just yet but Nigam does have tons yeah. of uh tons of Population here is at 112 of 115 population. The question really is going to be, can he continue to stay alive in this game as that town center comes up? We're going to be able to see uh, more and more villagers coming forward on to hunt and all the other good stuff for this Loki player here. He's also still got this hunt on this location over there as well. Yo. As the army starting to move forward here, we'll see what uh, Nigam's going to do, if he's going to be able to win on this fight. One thing that will be a really, really good tech switch in a way for XJ or MGXJ here is going to be to drop a hill fort and start making some Huskarl here to uh, help take out those Toxodes uh, and make that work where that's concerned. But it looks like Nigam now is going to be able to advance to the next age. The question is going to be, what should he go through? Should he go through Dionysus or should he be going through Apollo here? Part of me feels like the Apollo play is the way. Once the Loki player pushes out of his base, you're just going to be underworlding and taking this town center down and trying to hit this location and getting a little bit of economic damage done. We do see the Hursa now moving into this position over here. Villagers turning around, taking the fight. They need to take this fight as fast as possible. Hopefully no myth unit spawns over here. Nikim needs to get a little bit more defensive on that location there as the Hursa are going to be swinging around looking for some more villager kills. Nice raids coming in onto this position over here as uh, MG searching around the map for stuff to kill. We do see the That's army now moving over, trying to protect his gold mine over here. Apollo is the uh, the the heroic age god of choice here. Unfortunately, it looks like Nigam's unit's getting caught out just a little bit here. He needs to get in onto this position. I think the idea here that is that would be really, really good would be allow the Loki player to come over here, underworld this, bring all your villagers in onto that attack as well so you don't lose any, Drop the mining camp here and then take that town center down and then start making yourself some uh, hypaspis here or something like that to continue. But Nigam's now got a lot of resources in the bank. It looks like he might be going for a mythic age here behind all of this to drop to drop a lightning storm or something to get himself a little bit of an advantage back and over here. But a battle ball now coming onto this position. Jason already over there to defend that one. Moving forward here as the army still looking to put some pressure onto this location over here. But without any heroes, it's going to be really, really tough. We do see the market getting dropped over here for Nigam as he is desperately trying to get to that mythic age over here. We see a, a storehouse over here, but these villagers just getting caught out of position over here as Nigam trying desperately to tack up here. But guess what? We're going to be seeing a third town center. I'm not sure I like the third town center here from MGXJ. If you remember the uh, fundamental series, we did say one town center above your opponent is going to be the safest way to play because it means that you're going to be able to catch up to their tech potential tech advantage that they could get if you if you do that so he might be finding himself having some tr trouble here but he does decide to just tap out in this position instead of allowing uh that hera to come through he does have the resources for the hera he will be in the mythic age here at 19 minutes he could potentially get a gold star behind this, especially with the Medusa and everything else. But I do imagine there will be some sort of a Mythic Age coming through by the time that hits. And if a Nidhogg drops, life is really tough here then for Nigam as well as everything else. But uh, a really, really nice play here from, uh, from our Loki player. I do think the play here for Nigam would have been to, to drop... Instead of trying to get to the Heroic Age, stay Classical Age. Commit to the Classical Age here really, really hard. Maybe even drop a second town center or something behind it. But definitely be getting yourself uh, uh, bronze mail, bronze weapons, 
medium infantry, medium archers, more military buildings, and just try and fight the flaming weapons with restoration. If you see this kind of defensive play style where you see the watchtowers come down, there's not going to be too much. Obviously, moving around onto this location, hitting this gold mine with your Toxodi sitting here would have been game ending for Nigam as well because that was completely open, but uh, Nigam was maybe a little bit too frustrated at the wall segments here that he wanted to break that down, but he just could not manage to make that work here. Uh, a really well played game though. Nonetheless, by MG. If this is the real Nigam, great to see him back. Hopefully see some more games from him coming back as he shakes that rust off and shows why he was such an incredibly strong player back in the day. Otherwise, another Smurf here with a really, really strong Zeus build order uh, trying to put some pressure on early. I love that play. Anyways, if you guys enjoyed it, please consider hitting the follow on the Twitch. If you're on the YouTube, hit that subscribe button. And I'll see you guys in the next game.